This is Raj again. I am here to explain to you how to register yourself into the faculty registration page of IBC Academy, which is going to do FIBC. So you will all get a mail in your inbox. In the mail, there will be a link like this, http ibc.academy slash e-learning slash faculty registration. Go and click on it. Once you click on it, you are into a site which looks like this. Here you will be allowed to feed in all your data. So let me see one by one. So go to basic info. You will be having to deal with all your personal basic information, your title, first name, last name, gender, date of birth, qualification, and all the fields. Once you do all the fields, you can save. Once you save, especially your password and confirm password, you have the access to go in and log in into the system. You can save or you can continue again doing your professional qualification, add a qualification. If you have more qualification, click add here. You can add any number of qualifications. Same happens with bariatric surgery experience as well. In achievements, you can type in all your achievements. In research and publication, you can type in all your research and publications. And in documentation, you can upload your recent professional photo and your curriculum weighted. Once you saved everything, we can go in and then log in here straight away. Or next time when you open your IBC.academy page, again you see the login. Go in, log in. So I am going to log in with my credentials. Once you log in, you will go into your profile page. In your profile page, you will be having your picture, all your basic details, and then the information. See the basic information what I have given, then the professional information what I have given about myself, then my achievements, then all my research, and then I have all the documents that I uploaded. So I uploaded my uh, photo uploaded my vitae and some other videos as well all the uploads will be noted here and then commitment page will have my commitments if I am a faculty of a particular course the date of the course and the commitment and all those details will be there then you have the upload segments this is where you upload the whole article what you want to upload either a e-learning article or a course material so put in your title, author's name, category, media, classification. In the category, we have various categories of procedures. In the media type, we have various uh, media available. And then classification, what are the different areas like a complex case, simple case, tips and tricks, and basic information, and the duration of the lecture. And then you can have a small abstract of 250 words. Then upload any image if you have regarding this uh, lecture or you upload a file. File can be a PDF, JPEG, or a video file, or a presentation like Keynote or PowerPoint. Anything you can upload. Once you upload and submit, you can go and see your details easily in the document section here. Say I'll upload three uh, uh, detailed uh, videos, I mean lectures. So accordingly, you can do that as well. This is how you tend to uh, put in all the data into our server. If you want to edit any of the professional details you can go in and click edit once you click edit then all your details will be editable now so I can go in and see this my information I can go and change if I want to change every detail can be changed whenever you wanted to and you example go into e-learning again since you are logged in you have access to the e-learning at well the course materials you can go in the course material and click on the course materials and and uh, and you can get into the uh, course material uh, page where you have the videos and the description and your comments can be given there so like this you can always have the e-learning material also be accessed if you want to go back to your profile click your name you go to your profile so this is how you access your profile page the more you have in your profile page the more you can uh, increase your SEO so that you have a share page, an email and a chat page also available along with this. Use this for a benefit. If you have any doubt, you can always mail us to support at ibc.academy. Thank you.